Hi, welcome back. Now in this session, we will learn how to debug a pop-up screen. As normal slash edge or setting breakpoint, we have only learned how to enter into debugging mode. Now let's see why a different concept is required to debug a pop-up screen. So first I will open ME23N which is used to display the purchase order. Let's take example here. Now by default, if I click slash H here, and if I perform any operation, okay, from this screen itself, system will go into the debugging mode. But my requirement is, when I click on this button, okay, and if I enter any purchase order number here, and when I press enter, after that, I want system to go into debugging mode. But here, once I click on this pop-up, here I can't type slash h here. I don't have that option. Okay. So, either we should know the actual program name before this. For that, means we can press F1, click on technical setting, and navigate to the screen area. Okay, then check some program and all. This is one option. And the best way is to do a debugging through the pop-up debugging method. So for that, in a text file, first keep a text file ready with this command function. This is a function. Okay, command equal to slash h, title equal to debugger, and type system command. Okay, create a text file with this text as it is, keep that in a folder. Okay, now here I will enter for some other purchase order number. And now I want the debugger to be triggered. So what you have to do, just drag and drop this text file on this pop-up screen. Okay, once we drag and drop it, text file here, we can see debugging is switched on. So even though we cannot type slash h here, but by this concept, now if you press enter, we will directly go into debugging mode. So now we are into the debugging mode. Okay. So remaining activity normal, like perform F5 or F6, F7 based on your our requirement. Okay. But this is the method how to enter into debugging mode from pop up screen. Like this now system will perform all the program full activity. So if you want to analyze the program flow, then also just use the same concept for pop up screen and perform the activity. Okay, so let's try one more on the BP that is business transition screen. So here select some record, some existing record I will open here. Just press enter. Let me check any old record from here. Okay, look like all same data in this test system. Okay, so we'll select any record, some more details, some data in that. Okay, so let me select this, this vendor, this ID. And my requirement here is, I want to here, I want to debug the pop-up screen of this mobile number field, cell number, that is also rename here. Okay, I want to debug this cell phone. Okay, so once I enter some number here, I want to debug that. So how to do that? Here again, the same issue. We cannot type slash h here. So again, same concept. Open the folder where we have the text file and drag and drop on this pop-up screen. Debugging switch on. Press enter. Now we are into debugging mode and we can see to record in this telephone number internal table. Because this is the first record, so that's why you cannot see all the number. So now system will process two records. So we can also understand the flow update the line, and chain, 
go to next record okay so like this we can debug the pop up screen by using that command text file okay now you can see both the record after that chain and chain operations so if you want to know like after entering the phone number cell number what system is doing so make use of this pop up debug concepts and then you can understand the flow of the program okay so in this way we will learn how to do adapt debugging in case of pop up screen so in this way we done with this session thank you